I won't even have 50% of the revenue because some people will be turned off and won't even come. As of February 26th, you'll be able to watch a movie on the big screen at a theater like this in Quebec. But Cinema's Guzzo isn't planning on reopening their doors when restrictions are lifted for theaters. Owner Vince Guzzo says it won't be happening unless they're able to sell popcorn and drinks. There's polls all over the place being done and clients will not come back to theaters with their kids if they can't have at least that popcorn experience while watching a movie they want to watch. I love movie theaters. I go uh, each weekend, so uh, I'm happy that it's going to reopen. I'm comfortable. If they're going to open, I'm sure every um, everything's going to be strict and really uh, appropriate uh, about the, the coronavirus. Guzzo says the green light to reopen was needed. When the the original announcement came out, you know, we were happy. We were expecting it, so it was a... Uh, it was a sign of relief saying, OK, you know, we might be at the end of this uh, this crazy uh, period. But then he says the bad news came later. He wouldn't be able to sell food and drinks, accounting for up to 50 percent of total revenue. Guzzo says he was misled. With the public health people that we had discussed, it was clear that we could reopen with the same conditions as we had opened in July, August and September. The only difference is we were going to have a curfew and it was going to be a procedural mask versus uh, just a face covering kind of thing. Uh, those were the only two conditions. Everything else was supposed to stay the same. Guzzo says the government is blaming this on public health, but he says the recommendations don't disallow food and drinks, and he won't reopen for March break as initially planned until this is resolved. I could be as ready as I want. If I don't put that key in that door, that theater isn't opening. And if the conditions aren't right, I've lost enough money on amateur decisions from this government. I'm not going to continue uh, bleeding even more just because they want to continue with the amateurism. In Montreal, Samsara Rainville, City News.